Yeah, well, Jessica, you know, this water main has really impacted this neighborhood here, and, you know, it left a, quite a large hole in the ground. This is a sinkhole that formed here overnight as a result of that pipe that ruptured, ruptured that's over 150 years old, and it actually swallowed a car, and it also left people's homes flooded with water. Tremont Street turned into a river. All right. Several inches of water flooding the south end. A 20-inch water main from 1874 rupturing right underneath this black Subaru. Significant amount of water high over a short period of time. A steady stream heading upwards as that Subaru sinks downwards, the front largely underwater. Once it receded, a sinkhole began forming as that pavement collapsed. In just a couple of hours, the car went from looking like this to like this. It might be an extreme situation to test the limits of the all-wheel drive. The car's owner taking the situation in stride. She shot this video from her balcony after waking up to a commotion. And then I saw like the hole and I was like, wait, wait, wait my cars over there. <laughs> so it's kind of this gradual process of pre-coffee uh, awareness that my car was, you know, in a sinkhole. And it wasn't just cars. Apartments were flooded out as well. Like when I got off the sofa, it was just nothing but water everywhere. Stephanie Perez's living room was in ankle deep water. Now she's worried about her furniture. Because I'm pretty sure once it dries out, it's going to have a stench and it seems like there's dirt mixed in the water, so it's not going to be any good. Crews worked throughout the morning to clean the mess up and get that car out of the hole. It's less than a year old, so the owner hopes the damage is minimal. I mean, it's not ideal, obviously, but what can anybody do? Everybody's working on it, so, you know, it is what it is. And a live look back here on Northampton Street where you can just see, again, that hole and then also the buckling of the pavement there on that street there. Surely a lot of damage here. Uh, Boston Water and Sewer tells us that Northampton Street in this area near Tremont will be closed for a few days while they make repairs. We're live in the South End. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB, News Center 5.